The History of Salvador Dali and Most Important Works In this video we will delve into the fascinating life and work of the renowned Spanish artist Salvador Dali. Known for his surrealist style and flamboyant personality, Dali is considered one of the most important and influential artists of the 20th century. Throughout his career, he produced a wide variety of works that reflect his unique worldview and his boundless creativity. From his earliest paintings to his most famous works, we'll explore the history and influences that shaped Salvador Dali's career, as well as his most iconic creations and the impact he had on the art world. Salvador Dali Salvador Domingo Felipe Jacinto Dali I Dominic, better known simply as Salvador Dali, was a Spanish artist noted for his surrealist style and his ability to create powerful and memorable images. Born in the city of Figueres, Catalonia, on May 11, 1904, Dali showed great talent for art from a young age. At the age of 16, Dali began studying at the San Fernando Academy of Fine Arts in Madrid, where he soon stood out for his ability to draw and paint. It was during this period that Dali began to experiment with surrealism, an art movement that sought to explore the world of the subconscious and human emotions through striking juxtaposed images. In 1929, Dali moved to Paris, where he met some of the most influential artists of the day, including Pablo Picasso and Joan Miro. He also became a member of the surrealist group, led by André Breton, and began producing some of his most famous works, such as The Persistence of Memory, 1931, which features soft clocks melting into a landscape. Dreamlike. Throughout the 1930s, Dali became one of the world's most renowned artists, and his works were widely exhibited and discussed. However, his association with the Surrealists soon deteriorated, and he was expelled from the group in 1934 because of his conflict with Breton. Despite this, Dali continued to produce innovative and surprising works, often experimenting with different media, including film, sculpture, and photography. He also became a popular icon in the United States, where he had several exhibitions and collaborated with some of the most influential artists and designers of the day. After World War II, Dali moved further and further away from the Surrealist movement and began to develop a more classical and realistic style. He also became a strong supporter of academic art, often finding himself at odds with contemporary artists who sought to break with established traditions. Despite his success and recognition, Dali had a complicated personal life. He married the artist Gala Elward in 1934, and the couple had a tumultuous but enduring relationship until Gala's death in 1982. He also faced various health problems, including a spinal injury that left him confined to a chair, of wheels during his later years. Salvador Dali passed away on January 23, 1989 in Figueres, Spain, leaving behind an impressive legacy as one of the most innovative and influential artists of the 20th century. His works continue to be studied and admired around the world, and his surreal style has inspired generations of artists and designers. The Temptation of Saint Anthony Salvador Dali's work, The Temptation of Saint Anthony, is a masterful example of surrealism in art. This painting, created in 1946, shows a scene full of symbolism and mystery, where the strangest elements combine to create a shocking and disconcerting image. The main figure in the painting is Saint Anthony, who stands at the center of the composition, surrounded by all sorts of strange and monstrous creatures. The figure of San Antonio is represented as an older man, with a long beard and a brown tunic. He is standing on a raised platform and appears to be looking up at the sky. Around him, Dali has included a wide variety of animals and strange objects. There are elephants with spidery legs, giraffes with necks stretched out and elongated, and human skeletons that appear to be suspended in midair. 
you can also see mythological figures, such as a minotaur and a griffin. The painting is especially interesting for the way in which Dali has incorporated different elements of his own symbolic universe. The elephant, for example, is a symbol that appears frequently in his work, and has been said to represent strength and longevity. The giraffe, on the other hand, can symbolize the idea of spiritual elevation, and the human skeleton could represent mortality and death. Another important element of the work is the landscape in the background. Dolly has created a setting that appears to be a desert, with sand dunes and rocks. The sky is full of dark clouds, and there is a gigantic red sun that seems to be about to set. All this creates an atmosphere of mystery and tension that adds to the symbolic meaning of the painting. Dolly's artwork is known for its ability to evoke strong emotions and to invoke deep meaning through imagery. In the case of The Temptation of Saint Anthony, this is especially true. The painting is full of symbols and details that suggest different meanings and invite the viewer to reflect on his own experience of his world. Ultimately, the Temptation of Saint Anthony is a work of art that defies easy interpretation and invites the viewer to explore the mysteries of Dali's symbolic universe. Through his masterful use of paint, the artist manages to create a work of art that is both moving and fascinating, and continues to capture the imagination of viewers to this day. The Enigma of Hitler the Riddle of Hitler is an impressive piece of art created by the artist in 1939. The painting is a surreal depiction of the figure of the German leader, who at the time was at the height of his power and in the midst of World War II. World. The painting itself is very intriguing and mysterious. In it we can see the figure of Hitler sitting on a wooden table, with his hands resting on it and his gaze fixed on a window. The window in turn, shows a view of the Alps, with a huge eagle's head flying over the scene. The image is enigmatic, as it is not clear what is happening in the painting. Why is Hitler sitting alone in a room, looking out the window? What does the eagle head that flies over the scene mean? Is there a hidden message in the work? One of the most common interpretations of the painting is that it is a criticism of the figure of Hitler and the Nazi regime. The figure of the German leader is represented in a lonely and isolated way, which could suggest the idea that he is disconnected from reality and that his vision of his world is distorted. The eagle's head, for its part, could be a reference to the emblem of the Nazi regime and its obsession with racial purity. Another possible interpretation of the painting is that it is a reflection on power and its nature. Hitler, sitting alone in a room, could symbolize the loneliness and isolation that comes with the exercise of absolute power. The view of the Alps and the eagle's head could be a reference to the idea that absolute power creates a disconnect between the ruler and the reality around him. Salvador Dali's work has always been highly interesting for its ability to defy convention and explore deep and complex themes. The Enigma of Hitler is no exception since it is a work that invites reflection and interpretation. The image is shocking and mysterious, and its meaning is not clear to the naked eye. However, that is precisely what makes it so fascinating and worth studying. The Persistence of Memory The Persistence of Memory is an iconic artwork created by the famous Spanish artist Salvador Dali in 1931. This surreal painting has been the subject of analysis, discussion and fascination by the art community and the general public since its creation. The work is made up of a series of soft clocks, which hang from tree branches as if they were a dream landscape. The painting represents a dream world, in which time seems to be suspended and space has no clear limits. The soft clocks that hang from the branches of the trees and are scattered throughout the landscape are one of the most recognizable elements of the work. These clocks symbolize the relativity of time and the idea that time can be malleable and subjective, something Dali himself explored in much of his work. The persistence of memory also includes other surreal elements, 
such as ants climbing up the clocks, a decomposed face in the lower right corner of the work, and a figure in the foreground with a head that appears to be melting. These elements can be interpreted as an exploration of the idea of death and decomposition, recurring themes in Dali's art. The technique used by Dali in the persistence of memory is impressive. The painter manages to create a sense of depth and perspective, despite the lack of clear boundaries in space. The precise details of the clocks, as well as the texture of the rocks and vegetation, are rendered with great skill and realism. However, the combination of surreal elements with realistic technique creates a unique tension in the work. Salvador Dali's work is characterized by exploring the psychology of the subconscious and dreams, themes that are evident in the persistence of memory. Surrealism is an artistic current that tries to explore the limits of reality and reason, and Dali's work is a perfect example of this. In The Persistence of Memory, Dali invites the viewer to immerse themselves in a world of dreams and to question reality as we know it. In conclusion, The Persistence of Memory is an iconic and timeless work of art that continues to fascinate people today. The combination of surreal elements with realistic technique, the exploration of time and death and the invitation to explore the subconscious make this work one of the most important in the history of art. The Great The Great is a work of art by the famous Spanish surrealist painter, Salvador Dali, created in 1929. The painting is an oil on canvas measuring 110 cm by 150 cm and is currently housed in the Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia in Madrid. The work presents an androgynous male figure, whose face is formed by the image of a snake, juxtaposed with a hand that extends towards her groin in a suggestive act. The figure appears to be floating in a desolate landscape with surreal elements such as a leafless tree and a starry night sky. The interpretation of this work is very complex and has generated many controversies over the years. It can be considered as an exploration of sexuality and eroticism, which is a recurring theme in Dali's work. The use of the hand in the figure's groin suggests an autonomous exploration, which can be interpreted as a critique of social and religious norms that repress human sexuality. The androgynous figure can also be interpreted as a representation of human duality, and the serpent that forms his face is a symbol of original sin. The figure floating in a desolate landscape could be a representation of human loneliness and the feeling of isolation in the modern world. The starry sky is also an interesting element in the work, since it can be interpreted as a representation of the universe and infinity. The figure floating in this cosmic landscape suggests the idea that human sexuality and duality are universal elements found in all cultures and times. The technique used by Dali is impressive. The detail in the rendering of the figure's hand and clothing is astonishing, showing the artist's ability to create realistic forms in a surreal context. The dark tones and the contrast used in the work create an atmosphere of mystery and tension, which contribute to the complexity of the interpretation. In conclusion, The Great, by Salvador Dali is a fascinating and complex work of art that presents multiple elements that can be interpreted in different ways. Its impressive technique and exploration of themes such as sexuality, duality and loneliness make this painting one of the most outstanding works of the Surrealist movement and of Dali's career.